Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for joining in. This is 48th in the series, and we will speak about a topic which is known as Introduction to Hedge Accounting. From this side, I am Rahul Madan working as a corporate treasurer in EXL. At the same time, I am working as a treasury trainer in various forums across the world, predominantly in Asia and Singapore, and also acting as a virtual treasurer for various companies in India and Singapore. You are most welcome to visit my foreign exchange club, which is known as Foreign Exchange Nevdi Thinkers, which is on LinkedIn, YouTube, Dailymotion, and Facebook. LinkedIn covers roughly 2,200 members. YouTube covers 48 technical videos, almost 1200 subscribers and 40, uh, subscriber views and 44 subscribers. Dailymotion covers 35 technical videos and Facebook covers a uh, newly created page on the Facebook which is Foreign Exchange Navy Thinkers. You are most welcome to contact me at 9899242978 and also welcome to email me at rahulmukhan8 at the rate gmail.com regarding any queries of hedge accounting. I'm again stressing on the fact that today we're going to speak about a topic which is known as hedge accounting. What do you mean by hedge accounting? Hedge, first we need to understand what do you mean by hedge. Hedge is nothing but buying and selling in anticipation. So it means you are taking a call that whether you want to buy, which means you are an importer, or you want to sell, which means you are an exporter, your foreign currency into a local currency. If you are an importer, you are buying a foreign currency by paying your local currency. If you are an exporter, you are selling your foreign currency by by selling your foreign currency by buying a local currency. Hedge accounting play a very critical role because in the last few years, hedge accounting is what? Hedge accounting is nothing but the counting of hedging. Take a very simple example. Take a company, I'm here in this video, I'm going to take a very simplistic note of hedge accounting. The further videos would explain in detail what exactly would be the hedge accounting and how to do in detail, but this would cover in simplistically. Hedge accounting would cover two important aspects. The two pillars of hedge accounting would be one, which is known as hedge item. Which is known as hedge item on which you are taking a hedge. It would be it would be receivables, it would be payables, it could be PCFC loan, could be ECB, could be anything. The second would be known, known as derivative. Now derivative refers to the derivative contracts you are taking. Now these derivatives could be plain vanilla, could be non-plain vanilla, could, could, could be other. Please be note that hedge accounting is nothing or I am restressing the fact that hedge accounting is nothing but the accounting of your hedges. Now how your hedge is nothing but buying and selling in anticipation. The two important pillars of any, any hedge accounting would be the hedged item and a derivative. Now what do you mean by hedged item? Hedged item could be your receivable, could be your payables, on the other hand derivatives. Derivatives can be further classified as simplistic derivatives, plain vanilla, plain vanilla derivatives or could be exotics. Well, as a corporate treasurer, I strongly believe that there is nothing known as exotics. And those exotics is nothing but the lack of knowledge. So if you don't have the knowledge, it means everything is exotic for you. In this world of foreign exchange, there is nothing known as exotic. Everything is simple. It is up to a corporate treasurer how he is taking it. As simple as that. That hedged item could be categorized as your receivable or that can be categorized as your payable. Your receivable can be further divided, can be categorized as exporter, payable can be categorized as an importer. Derivatives can be categorized as a plain vanilla derivatives and other refers to as an exotics. Now, hedge accounting can be further categorized into two parts. Before going ahead, let me stress you the fact that I am here telling hedge accounting as per US GAAP. I am not telling as per Indian GAAP and IFRS. First, we will cover the entire 5 7 videos of US GAAP and then the turn off of your so called IFRS and, and, and these would come. Now, in this, hedge accounting would have two important terms. One would be known as hedged item one would be known as your derivative. Hedged item can be further categorized that you have your receivables, you have your payables. Derivatives can be further categorized that you have plain vanilla derivatives 
and here you have exotic derivatives. Now, the ideal formula, the hedge accounting ideal formula would be, hedge accounting is of two types. One is known as qualitative hedge accounting and another refers to as quantitative hedge accounting. Qualitative hedge accounting as per US GAAP refers to critical to terms method, so and other methods. Quantitative hedge accounting which is the most important method, unfortunately this is not used anywhere in India which is known as dollar offset method. It is the dollar offset method which has given this word a principle that a derivative a hedge accounting is nothing but your so called derivative divided by H item which is nothing but present value of derivative nothing but the present value of hedge item and this should lie between 80% to 125% now please be note that hedge accounting is an art which needs to be done the basic premise of the simplistic premise of hedge accounting is that the gain loss which you will generate from your outstanding derivatives where you would park the same. So as per US gap, the gain loss is going to park here, which is known as balance sheet, which is known as other comprehensive income. Here you will pass the gain loss, FX gain loss. So I'm researching the fact that this is the simplest video we are cover. We are or basically the introduction to hedge accounting. Hedge accounting is nothing but an art how to hedge, how to account the hedges which you have taken. Now, hedge accounting is predominantly covers the two important pillars of hedge accounting. One is known as hedged item, which is known as receivable and payable. Second is known as derivatives. Derivatives refers to plain vanilla derivatives or exotic derivatives. Hedge accounting further can be categorized into two parts. One known as qualitative hedge accounting, second known as quantitative hedge accounting. Qualitative hedge accounting would refer to as a critical to terms match method, wherein there is nothing quantitative, everything is qualitative in nature. How much money which you are getting in India or versus you will raise the invoice. Second refers to the qualitative hedge accounting. Qualitative hedge accounting refers to as a as per US gap is refers to the dollar offset method. It is a dollar offset method which has given this word that the total amount of derivative, the present value of total amount of derivative divided by present value of divided by hedged item that you need to take. Now the gain loss which you are going to park is in is in, a, in the balance sheet which is in the other comprehensive income. Please be note that, please be note that hedge accounting as per US cap have to have done once in a quarter. It is mandatorily important for you to do hedge accounting once in a quarter. However, there is no restriction that if you are doing the hedge accounting at monthly or maybe semi-monthly then, then there is no restriction but it is restriction that hedge accounting to be done at least at the end of a quarter. Now hedge accounting, the final thing to cover here is hedge accounting covers all the three forms of hedging. Cash flow hedges, fair value hedges and net investment hedges. All three forms of hedging are covered in the, in the hedge accounting. The next video we are going to speak about what is exactly the hedge accounting as per cash flow hedges and as per US cap. In the meantime, you are most welcome to contact me at you are most welcome to contact me at 919899242978 you are welcome to email me at rahulnagan8 at the rate gmail.com please be note that in the current world we are shifting towards IFRS denominated hedge accounting via US GAAP hedge accounting and hedge accounting is playing a, playing a very important role in the world of corporate finance you are most welcome to contact me 9899242978 in, in regards of any question pertaining to hedge accounting. Thank you very much. Thanks for your time.